Hello. Welcome to our new series, Really Dumb Questions from Fundy Atheist. I think the title speaks for itself. Who's first? What? Yeah, I got a question. Why are the doctrines of the afterlife missing from the Old Testament? Didn't God care if the Jews were not warned about hell? Well, first of all, in the Old Testament, there isn't any place to expound on those doctrines. There's no place in a law code, a list of proverbs, a narrative history, for comments on the afterlife. Now shut up before you ask why they didn't have a book that had all that. The typical peasant of the Old Testament period was more concerned with their next meal and with protecting their family. They were not concerned with deeper philosophical and eternal problems. Not only that, the simple idea of good versus evil, of loyalty to God as the choice for life versus death, was more than enough to transmit to any person with an ounce of sense that the same bifurcation would apply further in any afterlife situation. Ah, oh, come on! There's nothing in there about halos or pitchforks or fire or anything. Yeah, there isn't. So what? It was irrelevant. Speculations like that would only be worth the time of those who had the leisure for them. That didn't happen until the intertestamental period when the detailed doctrines of heaven and hell came to fruition in textual form. But look here. It would be pretty stupid to think that the Persians had detailed ideas about the afterlife, the Egyptians had detailed ideas about the afterlife, and the Jews didn't. Regardless of how much or how little the Old Testament records, the forbiddance of necromancy by itself suggests that there was a belief in some sort of afterlife in place, even if they didn't talk about it in detail. Things like that are just common sense in a religious setting, and the lack of detailed explanation in the Old Testament is nothing to argue about. Got it? Good. Next question.